hey folks last time we saw each other in uh, Colombia now I'm here in Malaysia uh, quite a few miles apart but uh, we're searching here for a few different tarantula species up in the hills like first we're going to search for the highland species and afterwards we try to go to the lowland forest and search there for a couple of different tarantula species so yeah it's quite difficult actually here in the highlands because the rain is really bad and the weather as well so there are quite a few thunderstorms at night and during the day it's raining as well so we have about 15 sometimes even almost 20 hours of rain in total so that gives us not that much of time to like search for the spiders of course during the night there's also a lot of rain which is yeah the bad part about it because we're searching for tarantulas uh, during the night because then it's easy to lure them out of their burrow so I'm not sure if you're going to find all of the highland species here uh, we have only a really limited amount of time here in Malaysia and of course also in the highlands here there are four different species of tarantulas in the highlands which we could find here but uh, let's see if we are going to find all of them or maybe just one so we'll see we just spent the night searching for tarantula spiders up in the hills now and we were quite successful actually so we already found two of the four different species of uh, highland uh, tarantula spiders here in Malaysia so uh, yeah that's quite a, a good thing for me and I'm really really happy to show you some of the pictures and of course uh, the video footage So they're like two of the four species which I would really like to see up here in the hills here in Malaysia. Uh, one of them belongs to the Selenocosmine subfamily which uh, goes by the name of uh, Coramiognemis hogai. So this species just got uh, more or less recently described in 2010 by uh, the authors West and Nunn. So they uh, 
just describe this species as a new one because it differs from all other tarantulas here up the hill uh, by its like really striking colors. It has a uh, almost blue or really dark and blue shiny uh, femurs and uh, really like hirsute legs on the fourth leg pair. So they have a lot of hairs on the fourth leg and it looks just really amazing when they just strike out of their barrow to catch some prey or like our stick when you're tingling. So uh, I'm happy to show you this species right now because we managed to finally found this one yesterday night. Um, I won't lie to you guys, it was an easy task. They were everywhere here up the hills. Um, the guide I'm with told me that uh, there were many many more specimens here a few years ago. So this species uh, got really smuggled by a lot of people and is still getting smuggled. So what you could do is just not buy any wild caught uh, animals. So this is what I meant with the Hirzu legs. The leg 4 of this species is, first of all, the tibia is a bit thicker than the rest of the leg, but uh, just the hairs, like the amount of hairs on leg 4 is insane. This is like the Asian answer to Oikratoskelsus pachypus from Africa. They also have this kind of hirsute legs. So this is a walking Koremiognemis hogai. Uh, just give me a second. Yeah. Yeah, so once the species is out of its burrow, it does not show any aggression at all. So this should be an adult female. They get quite a lot bigger, but it's really really difficult to get them out of its burrow so we decided to go with her um, it's better than nothing actually well we did not want to destroy any burrows so we just tried to tickle them out and she was the winner of it so uh, so of course it does not like to get handled but i just wanted to show you the size comparison um, we get her out of her burrow because she was the only one to like completely emerged out of her barrel. Uh, all the other ones, and there are bigger ones, just came out like two thirds of the body and then went back into the hole. So that was it. That's the end of the video. If you liked it, please leave a comment below. We'll answer all of your questions, even the ones regarding your pet tarantulas. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications on the left side so you always get an email when there is a new video from us so yeah see you in the next video then